Hello everyone, welcome back to our new video and today we are back with yet another amazing hiring from Rubrik. So this particular hiring is an internship opportunity for the last year students of engineering graduates. So in this video, we are going to check out what is this possibility all about and what is the eligibility criteria also how you can register for this particular drive. So let's get into the video, watch the video till the end and do not skip any part of the video because if you will skip, you will you are going to miss some important information. So let's get started. Just before starting, I would like to inform you that if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel because on daily basis, we are coming up with lots and lots of new opportunities on our Instagram page as well. So follow us on Instagram. All the links and the uh, description are in the description box. Just uh, click those links and follow us. So let's start. So as you can see on my screen, the company name is Rubric and the location is Bangalore and the internship opportunity, the name of the internship opportunity is engineer project program. So let's read something about the job. Like we are looking for a highly organized and motivated project program manager intern to join a dynamic team. As an intern, you will assist in managing our open sales product delivery. So like software as a service, product delivery, you will assist in the planning, managing and execution of several technical programs and initiatives each year for our engineering organization across our product portfolio. Product portfolio. You will be closely mentored by our experienced team and get first-hand experience in driving the important improvement for our processes throughout the development, validation and deployment cycles. So here we can clearly understand this internship is all about software development, uh, lifecycle models, SDLC and so on. So this is the job role basically. If we read the crux, so it is design, develop, test, deploy, maintain and improve the software manage individual project priorities, deadlines, and deliverables with our technical expertise, identify and solve bottlenecks within our software stack. So these three are the prime responsibilities. Moreover, other responsibilities include coordination and communication, assisting the connection of schedules, status, and issues to stakeholders, risk management, continuous improvement. These are some further preferred responsibilities which you are going to handle so it will be a very interesting internship so if you are like a student of computer science and engineering or it or if you have interest in software development this internship is for you because when you do these kind of internships these not only help you for getting the full-time employment but also you learn a lot before entering into a full-time company even these internships can also convert your role into full-time at the same company. So what are the qualifications required? You must be enrolled in a bachelor's degree in computer science, computer engineering, or any technical discipline. Previous coursework or intern experience you must have like in quality engineering or software development. Any projects you have made, you can mention those. Any internship opportunity you have done, so just mention those. Basic understanding of SAAS architecture, cloud services, and release management tools is a plus. So if you have any understanding related to this, just mention it in your resume. And one more thing, whenever you are talking about off-campus opportunities, these just not limit your responses because these internships or these full-time roles come up uh, like the resumes are taken through the AI platforms, like a third party is uh, checking your resumes. So there's a term called ATC. So like in basic language, you can say like if uh, you are prompting your resume to these companies, uh, a an AI is going to check your resumes. So just put the same keywords, try to alter your resume as per the job description so that your resume gets shortlisted for the further rounds. If your resume is not getting shortlisted, if you have any doubts related to resume making process, how to make the resume, you can just talk to us. We are we are having one-on-one -on -one free mentorship sessions. Just comment down below in this video or you have our WhatsApp and Instagram channel contact in the description box. Just go check that out, reach out to us. Our mentors will be happy to help you out. Next is you must have excellent communication and interpersonal skills. 
strong analytical skills and problem solving mindset exceptional organizational skill and attention to detail ability to adapt to changing priorities and work effectively in a fast paced environment an interest or experience applying agile development methodologies in 24 by 7 operational environment is desirable like if you have done anything in practical in real life you have any real life real time projects with you related to agile development you can mention those these are desired like people with these kind of projects are going to be taken on priority so this was all about the job description and the eligibility criteria we can take like you know if you are a student of 2026 batch you can apply for this particular internship internship duration is five months education is be in computer science should be in last year only 2026 batch students can apply for this particular internship okay you must be in your last year and location will be bengaluru it will be a hybrid mode of internship you have to go to office but you can like work from home as well so this is something about the company you can click on and read about the company this is very important because whenever you're applying for any company you must know about that company and the job description so that's all and here is a registration form a very small registration form is there you just have to fill your first name your last name your email id your phone number you have to attach a file with your resume or cv then you have to mention your university name your linkedin profile you must uh, like this is optional but go for it and in linkedin as well update your linkedin id and just put the same uh like same keywords that are required as your skills on linkedin as well you have to write down any past internship if you have done next your cgpa then is code chef rating it is important or code forces rating like any coding platform you are using you can just put down your their rating here okay will you be available to take up an on-site internship in the month of january 2025 to may 2025 so you have to click yes next are you currently or have you ever been employed by rubric if you are you are not going to hire it is for sure so you have to click on i have never been employed next is a non-disclosure agreement just read it and just uh, sign it like writing your full name just type in your full name here next you have to acknowledge so you can fill yes then you have to enter your location and click on submit so that's all later on each and every information will be carry forwarded with your emails so do apply as soon as possible because all the off-campus opportunities comes up with last in uh, like first in and first out system so just go for it apply as soon as possible and uh, moreover please give the right email address because after that you cannot change or you cannot do any alterations in this file okay so if email is not correct you are not going to receive any further information from the company so try to give exact email and exact phone number check it twice before submitting the application so that's all in today's video again i'm going to say subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon for all the latest information and that's all in today's video hope you like the content and we'll be coming up with more new opportunities in upcoming videos till then stay tuned bye bye